Black Shark 4. Probably ang pinaka high tech na gaming phone in the market today. Guys, na try ko na siya for one week at hindi ko na expect na ganito siya kaganda. Tinin ako yung specs no, akala ko parang ordinary lang siya, minor upgrade from the Black Shark 3. Kung napanood niyo yung aking Black Shark 3 video last year, OMG, it was my number one viewed video of 20. 20. Ganun siya kalupit. At akala ko, wala nang tatapat doon. But then, agad tumalo sa kanya. Hindi ibang brand, kundi ang sarili niya. Pasok si Black Shark 4. Unang una no, I was like, okay, Snapdragon 870 processor. Meron siyang 144Hz refresh rate. At ito na, for the first time ever, siya na ata ang pinakamabilis mag-charge na cellphone sa buong mundo with 120 watts Fast charging, guys, tinry ko siya. All the way from 0 to 100% in just 17 minutes. Oh my god. Walang ibang phone ang nakagawa niyan. Si Black Shark 4 lang. Actually, sobra nag-level up siya. Plus, meron pa siyang mga magnetic popping triggers. Ayan, parang baril lang oh. It's like your new gun. Ah, parang may baril lang ah. Actually, madami siyang nalagay na features dito sa bagong phone na to. I am pretty sure na excited ka na for the Black Shark 4. Kaya mag-unbox na tayo. Ako pala si Vince and you're watching Unbox Tires. Okay, so here we go. Black Shark 4. Balik lang natin sa kanyang plastic. Para ma-experience natin ulit ang kanyang unboxing. Okay, so muna box. Maganda ang kanyang box, no? Very gamer-like. Parang piece of machinery with the letter S sa gitna. Yan yung logo niya, Shark. Sa side naman, meron siyang high-res audio. Nice. Tapos sa likod ay yung kanyang specs. 12 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage. Meron to siyang HDR10 Plus. Wow. Let us unravel the beast inside. Ito na siya, Black Shark. Don't worry, hindi Chinese siguro yung kanyang retail box. So, of course, officially available to the Philippines. Sabi ko sa inyo, map kung saan siya mabibili. Meron siyang SIM ejector pin, manual, warranty card, at we. BSO2 protection. Ito ay hard case, mga kaibigan. In other words, matigas. Ito na yung phone. Uy, nagulat na naman ako. Wow. Wow. Meron siyang kasamang stickers. Kapag gaming phone talaga, meron siyang stickers. Uh, yung S, Black Shark na wording, and mismong may Shark na logo. And of course, pati yung cardboard ay merong nakasulat, yung specs dito, which is mostly Chinese. And this is my favorite part. Mga kaibigan, dito talaga ako namangha ng sobra-sobra. Never in my life have I ever held a phone charger na ganito kalaki at ganito kabigat. Napakabigat niya guys. As in, para siyang charger ng isang laptop. This is the 120 watts fast charger. Oh by the way no, just to clarify, the 120 watts fast charger is only available sa Chinese version. Sa global version, 67 watts lang. Although, pwede mo siyang bilhin separately sa Black Shark store at the end of the year. Sabi ni Black Shark. Yun lang, this looks like a Xiaomi charger, no? Yung uh, orange yung kanyang likod. Puti siya. And also, ganito rin yung packaging ni Xiaomi for its USB-C cable. Orange din. Ayun lang, hindi kasama sa theme nung gaming phone. Wala lang. Yung other gaming phones kasi bagay yung kanilang charger. Parang pinasadya talaga. But anyways, who cares? What matters is this. Ayan na siya. Oh. Actually, very basic lang yung design. Compared to other gaming phones na narebew ko, napakasimple lang. Meron siyang holographic X. Like effect sa likod. Tapos nasa gitna is letter S, yung kanyang Black Shark logo. Meron pang Black Shark wordings dito sa baba, pero hindi masyadong halata. And that's pretty much it. Actually, ang nasa likod lang yan talaga, ang sobrang halata is yung kanyang camera na medyo pahiga siya, no? I am not a big fan of that uh, kind of orientation. Pero in terms of build quality, oh my god. Very solid. This is a glass back. Pero hindi sinabi na kung Corning Gorilla Glass material to, no? Bas na lang glass back siya. Check natin, no? Ayan. Meron ko na extra protection sa likod. Actually, for me, mas cool yung kanyang design kapag ka nalagyan mo yung casing. The body is made out of metal, aluminum. Maganda yung curves. Pang landscape gaming talaga. Yun lang, no? Compared sa competition, wala siyang RGB. Bummer. Pero, if you don't need RGB naman, di ba? Mas nakakasave ka ng battery kapag ka walang RGB lighting. So, non-essential stuff. Oh, by the way, sa ilalim, marami siya dito. Microphone, headphone jack, and finally, ito yung hinihintay ko kasi sa dating version ng Black Shark, walang video out yung kanyang USB-C port. Eto guys, meron na. Ibig sabihin, perfect siya for streamers. That's right. If meron kang streaming device like an Elgato, connect mo dangle dito and bam, it will work just like that. And right here is 
a loudspeaker. Guys, dalawang speakers niya. Isa sa ilalim at isa sa taas. Yung kanyang sound cavity ay napakalaki. Guys, narinig ko na yung sounds niya. Malaki at malakas ang sounds nito. Tuduy lang. Paside yung kanyang speakers. Hindi siya yung front firing. Tapos sa taas, meron pa siyang microphone. So, right side naman is yung fingerprint scanner or yung power button. And probably the best part of this phone is right here. Guys, meron siyang toggle dito. Slider pala. Kapag in-slide mo, may sound. And as you can see, may umangat. That is the pop-up magnetic triggers. Ang gusto ko dito is yung kanyang sounds, no? Yung parang clicky sound. Akala mo yung sa baril, no? Yung chuk chuk uh, Di ba? Yung nagpapalit ka ng magazine and then mag-reload ka. Parang ganun yung dating eh. Pero may, i-demo ko sa inyo yan. Bagong-bago to guys. Hindi siya katulad ng mga ibang gaming phones. Haptic feedback lang yung gamit. Mga vibration lang. Ito, actual pressable trigger. O nga pala, sa left side naman is yung kanyang volume rocker. Wow, kakaiba to ah. Nasa left side yung kanyang volume rockers at nasa gitna pa. And meron pa siya isang microphone so that makes it free microphones. Wow. And yes, sa taas niya ay yung kanyang SIM ejector pin. Ito na siya. Okay, so dual nano SIM card lang siya. Wala siyang micro SD card storage for expandability. Meaning, yung pinaka-recommended ko sa kanya is bilhin nyo yung pinakamalaking storage na available para marami kayong pwedeng i-download na games because 1 to 8 or 64 might not be enough. Actually, hinahanap ko dito yung kanyang Shark Space Slider. Wala, wala dito guys. Dati kasi meron. Pero, meron siyang bagong ginawa dito. I will just release the triggers. And press and hold at the same time Black Shark Space Okay, so kung di mo pa alam yung Black Shark Space, no? Ito yung alas na mga legit na gaming phone Ang advantage na isang game space over the other Game Turbo or Game Space phones na makita mo sa mga regular phones ay this is a specialized virtual space for games only. In other words, console mode. Ito yung parang naging PS4 or Nintendo Switch yung inyong game phone. Suddenly, no? Kung sa homepage, malilit na yung mga icons nila. Well, dito, malalak silang thumbnail. Para talagang isang console, no? May makita ka mga malalaking thumbnails katulad dito. And with this, pwede mong ilaunch yung game nyo. Pack. And suddenly, your game has a special game studio. Ano ba yan? Ito yung panel na kapag Pagka in-swipe mo diagonally sa corner, ayan siya. Now you have the tools to enhance your gaming experience. Usually, ang una kong binabago dito is yung kanyang block notifications and calls. Kasi ayaw kong madisturbo sa game. Enable anti-mistouch, no? Kung ayaw mong magkaroon ng mga mistouches, meron din siyang ganun. And guys, so, sa gitna, kitang-kita nyo yung FPS, yung performance ng processor, and yung kanyang network dito sa left side. And if mabagal na yung phone nyo, pwede mo siyang i-clean RAM. Ayan, bibilis ang phone nyo dyan. Meron pa siya ditong key mapping. Ito na yun guys, no? papakita sa inyo. So, dito sa Call of Duty, pwede ko siya i-assign yung right trigger dito sa, sa shoot button. Ito namang left trigger, dito sa scope button. Try natin, scope, tira. Actually, para sa akin, no, mas madali i-implement yung ganito compared sa gagawin mo lahat sa screen. Kasi nga, at the same time, no, hindi ka lang naman tumitira. Kailangan mo din i-direct yung galaw nyo or yung pag-aim nyo. Pero dito, nasa-separate kasi yung shoot, pati yung aim, which really helps. Kasi, alam nyo naman yan, kapag ka, puros display lang lahat, sa display nyo lahat, gagawin yung inyong controls, mapupudpud ang inyong display. Kasi nga, lagi nyo didiin yan. Aminin, lagi kayong madiin sa pag-press ng inyong display kapag ka nag-shoot kayo. Gigil na gigil kayo, no? Hindi totoo yan. Ito guys, hindi nyo na kailangan manggigil sa display nyo. Kailangan nyo lang is mag-aim. At least now, hindi na crowded masyado yung display. Ang dami kasi yung buttons na kalapinutin sa display, di ba? Dikit-dikit pa. Ito, it gives you separation. Space. Para sa inyong mga fingers. Mas magaling ang kamay ko dyan. Ganito rin sa Genshin Impact. Ayan. Right trigger kapag ka repetitive. Oh, mas madali guys, oh. For example, example, yung uh, pag-charge ko ng bow, I don't have to press and hold dito sa display. I just need to hold the trigger button, mag-aim sa display, and release. Ganun lang. Left trigger naman is yung kanyang special skill para sa akin, no? Or pwede ring dash. Ayun. Kasi nga, mas repetitive yung dash. I like it. Very intuitive. Okay, balik po tayo sa shark space, ha? Oh, by the way, kapag nasa shark space ka or shark space mode, hindi ka pwedeng agad bumalik sa homepage nyo. Simply because, para ka naka-exclusive gaming mode. Kung gusto mo lumabas, just press this log out button. Ayan, no? Hold mo lang and pack. Oh, by the way, para bumalik ulit sa shark space, may dalawang paraan. First, yung kanyang trigger buttons, hold mo lang. And the other one is nasa homepage, shark space na application. Oh, by the way, kapag nasa home screen ka, check this out. Let's release the triggers. Boom, may lumabas. Suddenly, naging function button sila. Which is, pwede mo silang i-assign sa kahit anong mga functionality, like a flashlight, screenshot, record button, QR scanner. Uy, useful yun, QR scanner. And now, kapag ka pinut ka ng left, ayun, screenshot. Pag ka pinut ka ng right, ayan, nag-flash. Flashlight. Oh, 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 oh. Shortcut. Life hacking, guys. By the way, nakalap ko sabihin, no? Ang kanyang display pala ay 6.67 inch. 1080p ito. At saka, guys, ito pala ay isang E4 AMOLED display from Samsung. Wow. Ang dami niyang features, guys. Napakataas ng brightness. Up to 1,500 nits of brightness. Meron na siyang HDR10+, 144Hz refresh rate. And check this out. Napakalit na kanyang punch hole. Very small. I'm pretty sure, excited ka na makita yung kanyang performance mga games. That's why you're here. Gusto makita yung itsura niya sa ML, 
Call of Duty Genshin Impact well here it is wait ah baka magulat kayo ah ito ang kanyang bilis si Snapdragon 870 processor ay 585,000 points and 22 well of course it's not the best score for a gaming phone but then for the price Sobrang impressive niya guys. Ito na yung pinakamurang gaming phone. It might not be Snapdragon 888, pero presyo naman, mas abot kaya. And by the way, meron siyang 5G and Wi-Fi 6, so future-proof. Unang-una, there's something about ML, no? Na hindi ko nakita sa mga regular phones. And that is the sheer beautiful, luscious looking graphics. Sobrang eye candy guys. Never ko pa nakita ng ganito kaganda yung graphics sa ML. I guess ito yung extra visual enhancement na ginagawa ng gaming phone. At syempre guys, when it comes to the actual performance, huwag kayo magalala sa ML, sobrang smooth niya. Never siya nag-frame drop, 60 frames per second. Ayan no? As you can see, meron kasi tayong uh, FPS reader dito, kaya lang kailangan pang ibaba. Ipakita yung panel. Sana malit na siya nabilog no? Katulad sa other gaming phone. Pero nga, in terms of the actual smoothness, abay, ito na yung pinaka smooth na makukuha mo sa Mobile Legends 60 frames per second consistent walang frame drops swabeng swabe ang experience ng Mobile Legends dito at ito na yun oo napakalakas ng sounds ito na nga I know a lot of phones are boasting about their Dolby Atmos surround sound experience but guys kapag narinig mo yung sounds nito nako Dolby Atmos has nothing to do with it kasi Dolby Atmos is software lang <laughs> depende lang sa content yung kanya speaker mismo ay yung hardware ha? ay napakalakas napakabuo sobrang clear guys mas maganda pa siya kaysa aking iPhone 12 Pro Max ng kanyang sound quality buong buo tapos guys kapag ka nagbibase siya may vibration sa actual na phone feel na feel mo yung vibration ng bass so may extra effect siya parang feel na feel mo yung uh, pagdagundong pagbayo nung uh, sound yeah boy and it just feels <laughs> awesome napakalas guys dare I say it the best speakers on a smartphone hmm pero ito lang sa ML kasi again this is not the fault of the brand wala siyang ultra graphics wala pa hopefully lagyan to ni Moonton no? kasi yung developer kasi mag on nun hindi yung hindi si Black Shark kaya hanggang high graphics lang tayo ngayon at least meron na siyang HFR mode and shadow but yes this is the best looking Mobile Legends visuals I have ever seen like Seriously. And actually, sa kanyang game studio, pwede mo siyang i-enhance ng todo-todo. Enhancing the color. Here it is. Pwede mong baguhin yung kanyang saturation and contrast dito. Tagdag ng brightness. Or simply, pwede mo siyang i-customize. No? Depende sa'yo. Dito lang yan sa Black Shark, no? yung may customization. Sa iba kasi, para may preset lang siya. Pero para sa akin, medyo overkill ang Black Shark 4 for Mobile Legends. Kasi nga, the extra features it gives you, no? yung kanyang very high refresh rate and very high touch sampling rate, ay uh, mas appropriate para sa Call of Duty, mga FPS. no? Because this game requires more precision and accuracy. At kung mapansin nyo, tinan nyo ito ah, kapag ginagalo ko yung display, nag-i-aim ako, tinan nyo kung gano'ng kabilis yung aking pag-ikot. Kunting touch lang, pak. Ano ito guys ah, multi-touch to. Hindi siya yung single touch na mabilis lang. Mabilis to for multiple touches. Nasa bayan. So, nafe-feel ko na mas accurate yung mga tira ko. Well, syempre nakatulong din yung triggers, no? Kasi nakaka-focus ako sa aiming kapag sa display and yung triggers naman pang shooting lang. Pero kasi yung aim, no? Yung pag-press pa lang sa display, no? Ay grabe, sobrang swabe. One of the smoothest displays I have ever tried. Ayan ang settings This is the most complete settings you will ever get for Call of Duty. Max settings, ayan, kompleto sa baba. And as you can see guys, sa Call of Duty, ay nako. Akala ko yung unique itong feature na to, no? Pero meron din pala siya. Yung 90 frames per second na refresh rate. Available na din kay Black Shark 4. There you go guys. And check it out. The graphics, the smoothness. Oh my God, napakaganda. Akala mo PC game eh. Sobrang realistic. Sobrang sarap tingnan. And dare I say, sobrang daya na ito guys, no? If meron kang ganito, you have the leverage in the game. Wala pa yan. Meron pa siyang mga enhancement for Corsair. Ayan, no? Pwede mo siyang lagi ng customized Corsair. Pwede mo palakihin. I-change yung color. Change yung style. Very nice. And if meron ka pa rin uh, na-feel na pagbagal, naku, pwede mo siyang i-overclock. Yes, guys, pwede mo rin siyang i-overclock using the game studio. Ayan, no? Pak. Kaya lang mas gagamit siya ng battery na pag uh, ganito. I don't feel na kinalangan naman niya. Kasi nga, as you can see dito sa aking uh, panel, 90 frames per second siya. Very consistent. Pero yes, easily, one of the best looking graphics I have ever seen no for Call of Duty sa mobile. Dito naman tayo sa Genshin Impact. And oh my god, I was not expecting this. no Kasi nga yung kanyang processor is Snapdragon 870 lang. Meron kasi yung Snapdragon 888 na mga gaming phones. Kasi, you know, gaming phones need to be the fastest. Ito naman settings niya sa Genshin Impact. Maxed out yung settings niya. 60 frames per second. Wow. Pero as you can see, no? 60 frames per second. Consistent dito sa Genshin Impact. Grabe naman to. Sobra, sobra, sobrang smooth. But then, I had to turn on the ludicrous mode, no? Para maging consistent siya. Actually, consistent siya kapag ka, walang kalaban, no? Kapag ka open world lang, naglalakad ka, wala masyadong frame drops. Pero kapag ka meron ng mga kalaban, mga malalaking minotaur or mga slimes, makita mo talaga na pumapalo siya ng mga around 50, 40 plus 
also effective din dito yung kanyang 720 touch sampling rate no ang smooth smooth ng galawan talaga dito and oh my god in terms of visuals no i have never seen genshin impact look this good this is as close no as my laptop graphics yung usual na ginagamit ko naka gtx 3060 pang pc na or pang desktop na yung kanyang graphics napansin ko kasi from the lighting pa lang the colors and the models it's totally different here siguro mayroon something ginagawa si black shark i'm not sure what it is siguro mayroon siyang ai enhancement feature pang upscale or i don't know but when i look at it it just looks a lot more beautiful kahit flagship pa yes flagship ni samsung ni huawei no the graphics here is totally different and that's why siguro it is a legit gaming phone also guys tapos ko rin na mabilis mo yung battery niya kapag sa genshin impact grabe talaga yung resources na kinakain niya and i was hoping na mas malaki yung kanyang battery at least 5000 naman kasi the phone is actually quite tech no kasi naman siguro dito yung 5000 mAh battery although syempre may pambawi yan no? yung kanilang charging speed oh mabilis nga maubos yung battery kapag genshin impact pero kapag ka Nag-charge ka naman ng 120Hz. Anong sinabi mo? Ay, what's pala? Bye! 17 minutes lang. Fully charged ka na agad. Ready to go. At ito na. 120Hz. Charging. Dinurin ko yung phone to 0%. Kinamit ko sa outlet. And these are the results. Grabe guys, hindi kayo maninawa sa makikita nyo. 2 minutes pa lang, no? 13% agad siya. What? And get this. Fast forward ng konti, no? Pero 2 minutes pa rin to. Ilang segundo na nakalipas, pero tignan nyo naman yung kanyang charging. Oh my god. Sunod-sunod. 14, 15, 16, 17 within the same minute. Wow. 10 minuto, more than half na, 66%. 15 minutes, almost there, 86%. Grabe. Patapos na agad. Hindi patapos yung inyong pinapanood na Vincenzo. At guys, 17 minutes, 98%. And after a few seconds, no? 17 minutes and 45 seconds, 100% na siya agad again. This is like the fastest charging speed I have ever witnessed. Like, it is over. Tapos na. Last na lang, Vince. Umiinit ba si Black Shark 4? Umiinit lang siya sa Genshin Impact. Call of Duty Mobile Legends, wala. Didn't feel anything really hot. Walang pagtaas sa kanyang temperature sa dalawang games na yan. Pero sa Genshin Impact talaga guys, kapag maxed out yung kanyang settings, medyo umiinit siya. Don't worry no, yung kanyang cooling system naman is very reliable. Hindi siya nag-overheat kasi nga, usually kasi yung mga ibang phones na uh, hindi maganda yung kanyang cooling, mas mainit pa dito. Maabot ng mga 50 degrees Celsius. Ito, nasa 40 plus, 44, 42. Pero, meron silang nalabas na bagong cooler. Para yan kay Black Shark 4. Ang kanilang pinakabagong Black Shark Fun Cooler 2 Pro. Ayan no, lalagay mo sa likod yan. Meron pa siyang LED lights. Di ba kasi wala siyang LED sa likod. Ayan. So, bilhin mo na lang yan. Kaya lang, like ka nakakabit sa kable. Siyempre, kailangan mo i-charge yung cooler eh. Pero nga, meron pa siyang temperature reader sa likod. So, wow. Malaking tulong to sa Genshin Impact. Pero if you're not playing Genshin Impact, then might not actually need this. Okay, so, kailangan mo ba natin i-review yung kanyang camera? Well, of course. Baka kasi ito na yung main daily driver nyo. Kailangan may camera talaga. Well, ito na siya. 48MP main sensor, 5MP telephoto lens, and 8MP ultra wide angle lens. Meron pa siyang flash sa likod. 20 megapixels naman yung kanyang selfie camera. And ito yung tura ng mga pictures niya. Pwede ba siya pang picture? Yan ang katanungan na marami. Well, of course naman. Siyempre, yung kanyang pictures or photo quality ay pretty decent, no? I would say yung kanyang image quality is parang mid-range level, no? From the color accuracy to the sharpness, details, and the dynamic range, parang saktuan lang. Um, at times, parang kailangan mo pa siyang i-edit ng konti, no? Para maganda talaga yung tura niya sa Facebook or Instagram. But yeah, pwedeng-pwede na to for your everyday picture-picture taking. And by the way, yung kanyang video ay up to 4K, 60 frames per second. Wow, bongga! Eto pala yung sample ng kanyang video. Yung 1080p niya, no, is very smooth. I like it. Well, of course, this is pretty much the Xiaomi app, no? Kung makikita niyo yung interface, Xiaomi na Xiaomi talaga siya. Pwede mag-pro mode. Meron na siyang night mode, vlog mode. Although not the most complete camera app. Pero this is the Xiaomi app, guys. Yung selfie, poging-pogi. Tama yung colors, tama yung skin tone. I like it. Parang lagi may vignetting ako nakikita. Siguro sa lighting ko lang yan, pero this is really good. I like it. Woo! Oh my god. Para sa akin, no? It may not be the most pricey, most beautiful looking gaming phone around. But for me, ito na yung pinamaganda. Hindi na siya sulit. Nag-make sense lahat ng kanyang mga features for gaming. Mapa high refresh rate display, touch sampling rate, lalo na yung triggers. Sobrang lupit. Plus yung sounds. Wow. And for a price that is so, so, so good. Siya na yung pinakamurang gaming phone na legit na Eh, ito na yung presyo. 8, 1, 2, 8, 26,990 pesos. 12, 1, 2, 8, 29,990 pesos. And 12, 2, 5, 6, 34,990 pesos. Wait, double the storage plus 5,000? Ngayon ko lang narinig yun ah. Actually, okay na sa 8, 1, 2, 8 eh. Ang laki ng lulundag nung 2, 5, 6 eh. Guys, this is officially available in the Philippines. Pwede yung pwede nyo na siyang i-pre-order sa Shopee Mall ni Black Shark Philippines. Ayun na guys, check it out. Oh my God. Legit yun guys, global. Global version yan, may Google na yan siya, may Play Store, 
Yes, Kalen charger is 67 watts, no? Sold separately, the 120 watts, if you want to upgrade your charger. And that's pretty much it, mga kaibigan. If you want to see a side-by-side -side comparison between the Black Shark 4 and the other gaming phones na ko, Nubia, ROG, Legion, do you want me to compare this to those? Let me know, guys, in the comments below. At the end, if you want to see more, more amazing content sa aking channel, gaming phones like this, mag subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. I will let's bins and you're watching Unbox Tyrese. Ooh, 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 ooh.